Hi, Julie Jules Cruise Companion. This is going to be a video about my embarkation day and disembarkation days on Coral Princess in June of 2022 from the Brisbane International Cruise Terminal. To get to the cruise terminal, I used a park and ride service. I was dropped off with a shuttle before I was greeted with my first glimpse of coral. Entering into the International Cruise Terminal is a very large building. There's lots of moving walkways. Check-in hall has a lot of stanchions and ropes just following the signage. There's a lot of people to help you. Everybody was keeping a good distance. And then when we got to the check-in, we just had to attest that we had a negative COVID. We were given our medallions and proceeded past all the rest of the check-ins and through security. There were staff everywhere giving guidance and support, giving us directions through this brand new, very large terminal. Down the bottom to the left and then again. we went through security just around the corner. It didn't take very long at all, two or three different checks, um, x-rays. Then we got our first, another glimpse of coral. And then the walkways to the boat are quite long. So if you do have mobility issues, it would probably be advised if you got a wheelchair access. Then you can see the crew welcoming every passenger on board with a welcoming committee. Lots of clapping and cheering. It was a beautiful sight, so I couldn't wait till it was my turn Welcome to be greeted by the staff. <laughs> Gradient of the walkway is very easy to traverse. It's just a very long distance. So coming around that final corner to be greeted by the staff, it was absolutely a beautiful sight to see. Hello. Friendly staff everywhere you went. Been greeted by security, Very well, thank directed you. over to the main entryway going into the atrium. <laughs> Just having to follow direction for what security were going to tell me, and that was to scan my medallion. And I just had to remove my mask so that she could see that my photo and my face matched. She greeted me and the crew were very welcoming. Touchdown! <laughs> Freshly on board, I we went to lunch, down. I found my cabin, and then I had a magnificent couple of days out on the open sea, eating wonderful food, um, having a browse around the shops at Calypso and there's Stanley Bear, the beautiful atrium, some absolutely beautiful sunsets on the open ocean, which made it so rewarding just to be on the open ocean again, just to listen to that rolling waves and uh, revisiting all of those wonderful memories uh, from before the lockdown. After I had my nice relax, it was time to pack up and receive my disembarkation information. Disembarkation I chose to do walk off. Last night. All the information yeah, is there on the back. It has the time and the location of your disembarkation location. And after that, I set my room attendant uh, a tip and gave him a gift, which was my book. And then I said goodbye to my room buddy. I collected my luggage, my medallion, which is metallic and uh, attaches to the wall there. Um, bid farewell to my room buddy and off I went to breakfast and had a last minute bite of food that I wouldn't normally be eating as I looked over the Brisbane International Cruise Terminal before I headed off the boat. My disembarkation um, location was the wheelhouse. I sat and waited until the staff gave me directions to be able to head down to the gangplank and then I just followed the rest of the people and listened for the sounds of the crew saying goodbye to the passengers. It was only a half-filled boat so the, never at any time did the boat feel very crowded at all. A lot of people you can see there are doing their own walk off um, with their luggage because it was only a few days. Um, having to show my face again to cross-reference with security as I scan my medallion.
Hello. And head off the boat. Scan my card, smile. And if you Thank were you. going to be putting your luggage out and collecting it at the Excuse cruise terminal, medallion. that Can would I? have been uh, disembarked from the boat and you would have collected it in the luggage collection area. One last glimpse of coral. And then you can see there that the luggage is being removed by the stevedores and that would be moved into the baggage claim area, which you walk through as part of the disembarkation process, even if you are doing a walk off. There was two gangplanks coming off coral. Beautiful day to be uh, leaving such a beautiful boat. Once again, the walkways are very long following the AFP members here. So if you do have mobility issues, it probably would be advisable to ask for a wheelchair and assistance with getting off the boat. Now in the arrivals hall, this section I thought was very interesting for if you have an international cruise, you would have to have the full immigration process. And this room here is the immigration's arrival hall. I don't know what the chairs signified because you'd want stanchions and ropes. But anyway, you head through here to baggage claim down these beautiful escalators everything is such a, a lovely wide open spaces through the exits and you cannot come back through this way once you have exited it's a one-way system I headed out to find my uh, shuttle bus from my park and ride service as I had one more glimpse of Coral Princess on this June 2022 first cruise out of the Brisbane International Cruise Terminal so there is a summary of my embarkation day and my disembarkation day on Coral Princess. This is Julie Jules Cruise Companion saying stay safe everybody and happy travels.